Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Amber here with what I think are the top three selling points of this game and why you might want to buy it. But whether or not you decide to spend your hard earned gold on this title, do consider subscribing to my channel for more news and reviews, tips and tricks, guides and gameplay for D&D, Dark Alliance, and other awesome video games. This game looks to be the perfect dungeon crawling adventure for three types of players. The first should almost go without saying, and that is those of you that love fantasy action role playing games. This is a co op action RPG, the spiritual successor to the highly regarded Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance games from a decade ago. But this is not a remaster or a remake, this is an entirely new game but of course set in the familiar Dungeons and Dragons universe. Swords and sorcery, dragons and orcs, dwarves and elves, loathsome monsters and brave heroes, you'll find them all in this fast-paced hack and slash brawler. Choose among the four playable characters, each with unique abilities. Dritz, a dark elf rogue, Bruner, a dwarf warrior, Wolfgar, a human barbarian, and Katie Bree, a human archer. Slay enemies to level up your skills, loot weapons and armor to upgrade your gear, progress through the different story missions to complete the main campaign, and then test your mettle in the endgame dungeons. Go it solo or play with a party of up to four players, which brings me to the second group of players who will revel in this game. Folks who want to party up with other players for co-op adventures. Now, I want to be clear, Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance does have a single player mode. You can play it alone. However, the developers have stated that this is a co-op game at heart. To fill a group, you'll need other players, as there are no AI companions. And these other players cannot be physically in the same room as you, at least for now because local co-op, also called couch co-op, is not available at launch. It is scheduled to be added in a future update in split screen mode, since this game is played from a third person perspective, as you can see in this gameplay, not 2D top down like the earlier Baldur's Gate games. Lack of couch co-op at launch will be a deal breaker for some players but on the bright side, the game will support PC and console crossplay at launch, according to an article from Xbox that I'll link below, and which also reveals some very good news. D&D Dark Alliance will be available on Xbox Game Pass, both Xbox and PC, at launch on day one. And this is the third group of players who may want to dive into this game. Xbox Game Pass subscribers, because we get it for free, or rather it's included in the price we've already paid. So even if you've never played this type of game, this could be your chance to try out something new or to give the genre another chance if you didn't enjoy your initial introduction. This game also has multiple difficulty levels so players can decide if they want more punishing enemies requiring skilled combat to defeat or easier foes so they can focus more on the story, which is based on the high fantasy novels of R.A. Salvatore. Personally, I'm really pumped that Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance has the potential to appeal to both veterans of dungeon crawler games and also those players experiencing one for the first time. But what do you think about this game? Let me know in the comments. This is Amber. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.